what's going on guys, Shri Kanase here and today we're going to be talking about when exactly should you kill your Facebook ads and what metrics you should be looking out for. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Again, we're growing extremely fast and just join the growing family so that you stay up to date with all these new videos I'm putting out. And if you do like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below because that lets me know that I should be putting out more videos like these ones. So let's begin. So as you can see over here, I have my Facebook's ads manager open up and this ads manager account is for my newer store that I have opened in the past week. And just two or three days ago, I began putting out ads for this store. And as you can see, I already have found a potential winning product. It has actually been giving pretty good statistics. I'm planning to scale this product if it continues to do well up to five figures. But going back to the metrics, I have a special way that I adjust my columns. And if you don't already adjust your columns this way, I would highly recommend that you take a screenshot of this and just adjust your columns to match mine because this is a very helpful layout. So if you haven't already watched my previous videos on Facebook ads, be sure to check that out because I have followed that exact same strategy. I created around 10 to 20 ad sets for this one. Let's see how many I created for this specific product. So it looks like I created 14 ad sets for this one and as you can see only about 4 have given good response. The rest I had to stop and I'll go exact over exactly why I stopped those and exactly why I'm keeping these on. So I started these ad sets at around $5 per day and this is today's the second day that I have these on as you can see I only spent around $8. And the main thing that I look at whenever I'm going over my ad sets to see how well they're doing is the link clicks. Now one main thing that I do on the very first day as well is stop any ad set that has not given me a link click by $1.50. So if I have zero link clicks, as you can see this one spent $2.52 but it had zero link clicks. And I stopped this a little later because I was busy during the day. but when it passes $1.50 and it has zero link clicks, you should definitely stop that ad set because you need your CPC to be lower than $1 clicks. And even though these are high CPCs, the only reason why I am continuing these ad sets is because they've gotten me a few purchases, as you can see. But the rest of them, which have got me zero link clicks, I have stopped them immediately after $1.50 spent. So that is one metric that I look at. I just simply during around 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. during the day I just come in and I organize the link clicks by least to greatest and I check out if there are any ad sets that have got zero link clicks over $1.50. If there are ad sets that do pass this then the next thing I look at is $3 spent and only one link click. So as you can see this one has spent $2.98 and it only has one link click. So since 1.50 times 2 is $3, if I don't have 2 link clicks by $3 spent, I'm going to be stopping that ad set. It's because that leads to a CPC that's greater than $1.50 and you don't want that. Again, this only applies if you have zero purchases. If you have purchases and this is uh, this has a CPC that is higher than $1 or even $2, $3, that's fine because it got me a purchase so I'm going to keep that on. But the other ones which have which have link clicks of one dollar and fifty cent or more, I definitely stop those. And the next thing that I look at is the website purchases themselves and the cost per website purchase. Now there's a very special way that I do this. So one way that I do this is just organize the ad sets by the greatest amount of website purchase value to the least. So as you can see the cost per website purchase, this is the greatest amount right now. I let the ad set run until it runs out of the profit margin. So for instance, let's say you're selling an item for $9.99 and you get that item for $2.60. So what you would do is one simple trick and let me open up my calculator to show you. So for instance, you get you get the item for $9.99 and then there's the Shopify fees. So I always include those fees whenever I'm calculating exactly what amount spent should I stop the ads at. So $9.99 and the Shopify fee is I believe around 2.9 cents so that's multiplied by 0 to 9 and then 0.28971 so 9.99 minus 0.28971 
and then there's another another 30 cents fee so be sure to include that so this is exactly the amount that I get after I sell an item for $9.99 so what you do then is since I get this item for two dollars and sixty seven cents what I would do is subtract that from this fee so minus two point six and this is the amount that you should be spending on before you stop the ad so for instance if these were the assets for the product which I get for two dollars and sixty seven cents and sell for nine ninety nine I would stop the ad after spending six dollars and seventy three cents and if it has zero purchases so as you can see none of them match the criteria right now but let's say this was at eight dollars and seventy cents spent and it, it had zero purchases I would immediately immediately go in and stop this ad set because it has already passed my profit margin so you always want to be on a lookout for the ad sets that pass your profit margin so you can stop those ad sets because if you let them run they're just going to take away your budget and reduce the amount of profit that you get at the end of the day so the next time that I would look at this ad is after it has spent um, let's open up my calculator again so multiplied by 2 so by $13.46 it needs to have another purchase so two purchases total and if it doesn't have that then I'm going to be stopping this ad set so this is a very simple strategy that I use I do not need to look at any of the other statistics except the link clicks and the cost per website purchase even though the CPM is high I'm still getting purchases for this so I'm gonna let it run it doesn't matter so I hope that was helpful for you all and if you have any questions regarding this be sure to put them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can and also I'll be starting a series where I go over my subscribers website so if you haven't subscribed be sure to do that and let me know the link to your website so that I can make a video of it and let you know exactly what things you might need to change see you next time